So Heroes of the Storm is a game that has evolved over many, many years. And it's actually a story of BlizzCon and our evolution from one BlizzCon to the next. Seriously. We brought this game first to BlizzCon in 2010 as really an example of what our map editor could do. We just wanted to show people how powerful our tools were, but people loved the game. Then we brought it back in 2011, and again, people were really enjoying this game. We got more and more passionate about it inside Blizzard, and we really wanted to see what we could do with this hero brawler genre. Once we made the decision to make Heroes of the Storm its own game, it really set us free to change the game fundamentally and take the genre in a new direction. First and foremost, we had to challenge ourselves to create a game that was really fun and really easy to get into for new players, but at the same time really emphasized team game play and had a lot of depth on the other end. One of the first things that we knew we wanted to change with the game was match length. With an average match length of just 15 to 20 minutes, we've concentrated the gameplay down to its most fun elements and allows you to get into a match, have fun, get out, and do it all over again. Victory. What we've done is we've come up with a world called the Nexus. And a Nexus is a clash of all realities, as well as Blizzard universes. We get to combine every single one of our Blizzard franchises together. We get heroes like Thrall and anti-heroes like Arthas. We have Kerrigan and Raynor. We got Diablo, Tyrael, all of them together in one game, fighting each other to see who's the best of the best. You're in my way. trying to create a very diverse set of heroes for this game. We've got heroes that are purely siege heroes, heroes that are designed to destroy enemy fortifications and destroy enemy troops. So we hear like the Witch Doctor, whose whole job is to do splash damage to enemy troops, or has special abilities that allow him to destroy enemy towns. It's something you can really use to push against the enemy and help your team win. We've got heroes like Abathur, who's a commander hero, and his whole job is to hide well away from the action, but control the flow of battle from a safe distance. And again, try to find clever and sneaky ways to help his team achieve victory. And the whole goal is to try to create a space that's open enough and creative enough and has enough sort of uniqueness to it so that when you see all of these heroes from all these Blizzard IPs pouring into this one game, that they all feel really unique from one another and it feels like each game has really done justice and each hero is really unique. Maybe take Mech Cap. Teamwork is a really important part of Heroes of the Storm, and we really wanted to do it right in a way that was friendly and inviting for all players. Immediately, we made the decision to de-emphasize last hitting as a mechanic, so you're never gonna have to apologize for killing the enemy. Get into the fight, get after the enemy teams, get takedowns on the enemy players, and the rewards are shared across everyone on your team. Since the rewards are shared, we really have the freedom to differentiate our hero designs in a meaningful way. Support heroes like Uther and Tyranda can actually be tuned to be dedicated healers. Of course, if you want to get in there and deal damage and get your hands dirty, you have the flexibility to customize your hero as well. We really wanted to make character customization really central to the game, something you want to do a lot to really maximize the strategic potential of your hero. So we've got ways that you can choose how this hero will fight in battle. One of the best examples is the ability to choose your own heroic ability. This is sort of like the ultimate ability in other hero brawler games. This is the ultimate expression of your hero's firepower. So for example, if you're playing as Arthas, you can choose whether you want to summon Syndragosa to the battlefield, this giant, frost-breathing, undead dragon, or you want to summon a massive army of the dead to attack your opponent. Each of these choices really changes how Arthas will play on the battlefield. I rule. So Heroes of the Storm really allows us to take elements from all the different properties and just smash them all together in just a super fun environment. It's not taking itself too seriously. It's a little bit lighter. It's a little bit more fun. We're not uh, beholden to any one franchise. So if we really want, we can take Uther, Mighty Paladin, for the Alliance and drop him in medic armor from the StarCraft universe. We can have Tyrael, and he could have a demonic version. You know, what happens if Nova wasn't a ghost, but was a specter? Aside from heroes, Maps are another area that the artists have been able to flex their creative muscles on. We've been generating a lot of art, anything from eerie haunted farm towns to surly portside bars to lush and beautiful gardens. Maps are extremely important to this game. We played this game for many years with a single map, and we discovered by adding more and more maps, we added more and more strategy to the game. We have maps where you're trying to gather cursed treasure, 
to give to an evil pirate lord. And once you do, he will sort of join your side for a time and have his ghostly pirate ship destroy enemy fortifications. And so you have these players fighting for coins on the map and trying to gather the treasure and trying to steal the treasure from one another. And it creates a lot of strategy for all the players in the game. We've got maps where you're going deep underground to kill skeletons and gather their bones to build this huge, colossal grave golem that will then attack its way across the map, destroying the enemy. Everything we're doing with these maps is all about giving players more strategy, more options, and keeping it fresh, giving us a chance to constantly introduce not just these maps, but more maps in the future that will create more and more strategy for many years to come. The Raven Lord demands tribute. Heroes of the Storm is Blizzard's version of the hero brawler genre, and it's gonna have everything that you can expect from a Blizzard game. Fantastic gameplay, art, humor, fun, and to top it all off, you get to play in all of the Blizzard universes at one time. So as an artist, that's one of the most fun things in the world, and I hope that everybody out there has as much fun playing the game as we had working on it.